consider subscribing. Abu Abdurrahman from Italy. Okay, the community I am from, my country original, all the ceremonies, like name ceremonies, marriage ceremonies, is free mission. And you know that it cannot be a rambo in a community. It means you cannot say, I will not go to the ceremony. If you don't go there, you also will have the ceremony. Nobody will not come there. So in this case, can I be there and lower my case? Okay. So again and again and again, the same question arises in different forms and shapes. My community demands things of me that goes against my religion. What should I do? Whether it's your community, your parents, your spouse, or your children, the answer is the same. As Muslims, we have no choice but to obey Allah Azza wa Jal, even if this causes and leads to the displeasure of people. Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, may Allah be pleased with him. When he was appointed as the ruler of the Muslims, after being handed it to him by Sayyidina Al-Hasan ibn Ali, may Allah be pleased with them both. He wrote a letter to Mother Aisha the wife of the Prophet والسلام, saying to her, Assalamu alaikum, advise me and be brief. That's it, that's a letter. A whole month journey from Asham to Medina. So she wrote to him, I heard the Prophet وسلم, say, whoever seeks the pleasure of Allah with the displeasure of the people, Allah would be pleased with them and He would make the people pleased with them. And whoever seeks the pleasure of the people while displeasing Allah, Allah will be displeased with him and He will make the people displeased with him as well. Wassalam. That's it. How brief can an advice be? to a Muslim ruler. So you, my friend Abu Abdul Rahman, if you seek Allah's pleasure, it doesn't matter who's displeased with you, whether your community discriminates you, discommunicates you, or boycotts you, or says bad things about you. They did the same to the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet did not participate in their gatherings, in their celebra celebrations, in their feasts, in their worship. And he told them that this is against Islam. So when people tend to offend Islam and don't care about what Islam says, why should you care about offending them? Someone who insists on offending you and smoking in your home. Why should I respect him and say, I have to tolerate him and leave him? No, Akhi, smoking is prohibited in Islam and it's banned in my home. So if you wanna smoke, leave. Simple as that. He doesn't respect me, why should I respect him? He doesn't pay attention to Allah's instructions and commands. Why would I care how they feel at the end of the day? It all depends on your commitment to Islam and Allah Azza wa knows best.